Hello there YouTube and um, welcome back to Richmond. Uh, as you can see here we've got some goodies. So uh, these have come over the last few days um, but hello but work has been uh, in the way so we've not been able to uh, open them properly and have a look. However this is the first thing that came. This is a um, North Eastern Railway floor mounting water crane by Mike's Models. So we've already opened this. So we've got the instructions here. Sorry, just the instructions are quite vague. Um, it just explains what to do. Um, they recommend gluing together. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, soldering white metal, so I'll be gluing it as well. Uh, most likely with uh, aerodite or epoxy or something similar. As I've got some of that somewhere. So uh, that'll be the first thing. Let's just take this out of the... Uh, out of the packet. You've got to do it one hand because I'm holding the, uh, the camera on the other hand. I've already had this open. I don't know if it's got packages as it should be and the tapes come off. So here we go. This is the, um, the water cream kit. So it consists of the base there, the water cream itself, and all the other various pieces. So you've got the uh, what they call the bag that hangs down. You've got the uh, the valve and the chain to swing the uh, the crane around. So I'm assuming we have to uh, glue these together and paint them first, and put, glue the stand on first, and then um, paint the whole lot. It does explain that you need to clean the flashing off first. There's a little bit of my flash. It's quite clean, isn't it? Just put a little bit of gentle firework just to get the those moulding lines off. And it's not a bad representation of the actual water crane that was at Richmond. So it'll sit there like that in the, in the base. Nicely glued in. And then that'll go just here. Just this side of the signal. So it'll uh, be able to in the middle there, you'll be able to swing both ways to uh, water locos on both sides, as per the real Richmond. So let's just uh, put that out of the way and then we'll move on to what's next. So next we have yet another Hornby uh, XLMS horse box. That will go with the other two that are already on the layout. Um, just by closer inspection, this has a different number it's 42253 um, then these two they're both 42178 as you can see there um, they are the same model so I don't know why that's different it's a very very nice model um, we've already reviewed this so we'll put that to one side for later and the next pieces of kit are these here we've got some wheels Scenics point running kits. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, we've got mechanical signalling here at uh, Richmond, as you're probably aware from the uh, amount of semaphore signals that are dotted about the layout. So the point running will be fitted before we ballast. I do believe that's what's recommended. Um, and there's instructions on the back there that tells us all we need to know. So, um, and there's plenty of pieces, enough for a couple of facing point locks in there, which is good. We need three facing point locks, so I may end up having to buy another, uh, another kit. Because we've got the extension kit, which only provides you with uh, I think it's two metres of extra running. So there's no cranks or compensators or facing point locks or anything like that. So this just has one facing point, sorry, two facing point locks uh, in the kit. And we require three, I believe. Yes, three. Um, so we'll be ordering all of these at some point. And there should be more than enough point running, so uh, that's good. So we do have another item to uh, unbox and review, but that'll be done in a separate video because it's a locomotive. And uh, we'll be doing that sh very shortly. So uh, May attempt to paint some of the uh, baseboard 
today. And that while I'm at it, I need to find another support for this uh, a column for this roof here in the middle. Um, something about the same thickness as the other columns. Uh, not only what I use, probably a paintbrush or something. So uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So uh, bye for now.